She just picked up a surfboard this year, but catching a wave in the St. Lawrence, Jesse Carell already knows the river well. It's tossed me upside down, around, sucked me under, and you come out of that and you think, wow, this is, this is Mother Nature. We have to respect this. She's upset Montreal plans to let raw sewage from homes and businesses flow here for a whole week. Major construction work on a nearby expressway means wastewater won't be sent to a treatment plant. Instead, 8 billion litres will be dumped right into the St. Lawrence. You can't put that much of a toxic substance into a river without any consequence. The Provincial Environment Ministry signed off on the plan. The city says other options were either too expensive or simply impossible. There's no tank that could hold that quantity, so we couldn't, that was not an option. Other cities have moved away from dumping sewage into waterways. This year, St. John's Newfoundland stopped the flow of a major sewage pipe into the harbour, and St. John, New Brunswick spent $100 million cleaning up after dumping untreated wastewater into its harbour for years. Experts we spoke to say the sewage probably won't kill fish in the St. Lawrence, but the rise in pollutants could have an impact on the way fish find food and avoid predators. It's not something that one expects. Certainly, this, this sort of thing doesn't happen on a regular basis. Montreal gets its drinking water upriver, and the city says there won't be an effect on water quality in any case. Though towns downriver, like Sorel, are worried they'll see a bigger impact than Montreal, with waste standing up on the banks here. But those concerns are overblown, says this civil engineering professor. It, it flows along with the St. Lawrence River. It's diluted about 500 times. By the time it gets to Sorel, for sure, Whatever the impact may be, the city plans to start dumping raw sewage into the river in about two weeks. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, Montreal.